Now that you have your video file imported into Photoshop as layers, when you're finished editing, go up to File, Save for Web. Not Save, not Save As, Save for Web. The most important thing to consider is the preset. Usually takes a few seconds for all your files to load up into this preview panel. But under Preset, go to GIF 128 Dithered. It should be at the top. And the next most important setting to look at is Image Size. In the same column all the way at the bottom. Adjust that to 500. Now when you're doing this, make sure that the chain link image is selected. I'll click it to show you what it looks like when it's not. Now if that chain link image isn't showing, then the width and height will not change according to one another. But with it selected, they'll change together to save the same aspect ratio. And finally, check your looping options and make sure that's set for forever. The point of a GIF is to be for it to be repeating, so this will keep it moving. Now go to Save, name it whatever you'd like, and notice the .gif extension at the end. Click Save, and it should appear wherever you saved it to. Now if you want to watch it before you submit it, right click and I suggest using a browser to view it. Chrome works very well for me. So I'll open that. And now you can see what it'll look like once you submit it.